I've been using Periscope to play some video games or show off my old computers. Uh, I've dialed into some BBSs using an old modem. Uh, a couple of times I've done pinball broadcasts. And uh, most of the time I like to put my phone on a tripod to do that. Uh, but sometimes when uh, something happens, it's nice to take a close-up. And so with the phone mounted on a tripod, that can be a hassle. So what I've done is I've put the phone on the magnet. I took the magnet out of an old dead hard drive and I'm going to show you how I made it. You'll need a Torx screwdriver to get it apart. I picked up this screwdriver at Home Depot. It's got interchangeable bits. It was about seven bucks. So here's the platters, here's the head, and here's the magnets we're looking for. Looks like there might be a, looks like there might be a screw right here. So now the head can come out. So here's the bottom hard drive magnet. I was able to pop out both of those pins with a hammer and a pair of pliers. I like using hard drive magnets because they're really strong, but they also come glued to these brackets with holes already drilled in them, which makes it really easy to mount them to a piece of wood. I grabbed a piece of scrap that's wide enough to hold the magnet and now I want to cut it so that it sticks out far enough here that if the phone hangs down it won't run into the tripod. Just line it up and make a mark and then I'll add the width of the wood to that. To mount the wood to the tripod, I'm going to use a T-nut. Uh, so I need to find the center so I can drill a hole. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I want it roughly about there. So I need to put the thread. I need to put the hole for the T-nut right about there. Because the wood is so much thicker than the T-nut, I'm gonna have to countersink a hole using a Forstner bit so that the T-nut will sit down low enough that it will catch the screw on the tripod. I wanted to drill the large hole first so that it would leave a center for the 5 16 bit that I need to use to drill for the center of the T-nut.
for the prongs on the T-nut, I'm just going to drill some pilot holes here, uh, and then I'll test it, and if it's not the right depth, then I'll have to come back with the Forstner bit. perfectly countersunk. You can see it's just flush right with the back of it. And because I could, I drilled a small hole here for the pin on the tripod mount, which keeps the base straight when it's mounted on the tripod. To secure the magnet, I'm just going to screw it in through the holes that it already came with. It's a little tricky to do because the magnet keeps trying to grab your screws, and that's why I like this Yankee screwdriver because I can just pound the screws right in. No you can see that magnet is really strong. <laughs> So for the phone to stick to the magnet, you're going to need a piece of metal, uh, something like this. This was a galvanized shingle that I got at Home Depot for 50 cents. Or you could use a, a metal strap like this. This was 90 cents. Um, if you don't have tin snips, you might want one of these because then you can just stick it in a vise and, and bend it to break it. I have tin snips, so I'm probably going to use this. If you have a phone with a case, you can just slip this between the phone and the case itself. But if you don't, what you can do is use some double-sided carpet tape. And then... So here's the metal backing that goes on the phone that I made out of a piece of galvanized shingle. I put the double-sided carpet tape on there, and double-sided carpet tape is very strong, but it's removable. Uh, you'll see a lot of woodworkers use it to fix things down while they use the router on them, but if you pry it, it will come apart. So let me take the backing off. Let me the metal backing is stuck on the phone, and I just stick it to the tripod, or I can turn it. And because of the plasti dip both on the magnet here and on here, when you stick it, it doesn't drift. And here's my iPhone 6 Plus. It's much bigger, uh, quite a bit heavier. Uh, it's got a, the OtterBox Defender case, and so I have a piece of metal stuck between the case, the actual the rubber uh, outer case and the plastic inner case. And it sticks on there really nice too. And with the, uh, and with the plasti dip coating on here, it prevents it from drifting down, it, it uh, sticks and stays exactly where Here is the finished magnetic phone holder that mounts onto the tripod. Uh, that's the magnet that came out of the hard drive. Here's the T-nut that screws onto the tripod with the extra hole for the, uh, the little spring-loaded pin that keeps the, the base from twisting. Um, and here is the magnetic plate that's just made out of a, a piece of galvanized steel that I got from Home Depot. And Here's how it mounts onto the tripod, which just 
line this up. So drop it in. And then the phone. mounts right here. Or you can do it upright if you're using Periscope, but if you're just shooting regular videos you want to turn it into the landscape mode. And it's mounted on there quite well. You can tilt the tripod up and down, look around. And that's pretty much it. It's fairly simple, uh, but it's extremely useful.